What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I've got a little DIY project for you. This is probably something a lot of people uh, would would like. And if you get some scrap wood laying around like I do, you know, why not? So I've been wanting a little TV dinner table so I can eat dinner on the couch. And you know, I, I don't know, a coffee table would be nice, but you know, if I if I get a coffee table, then I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this command center. Hell no. Hell no. So we're gonna make a we're gonna make a TV dinner table that stashes away somewhere. So let's get started. So first off, I want to make sure that I have room. So I can only slide it under. So let's say 12 inches. So I want to measure this, measure the height, and then kind of figure out where do I want the table at? Probably, uh, I don't know, 30 inches looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's go make it. So, I just helped my dad make a coffee table for him. And this is some of the, the wood that's left over. Thank you, Dad. We have a big chunk of red oak. I don't know if I'll use that for this. I got a nice piece of cherry and a couple little pieces of walnut left over. So I don't know if I'll use the, uh, the red oak, but I'm thinking maybe cherry, maybe we'll put like some walnut in it somewhere. So that's the first thing we gotta do is get everything cut up to length, get everything square, and if we're gonna put a stripe of something in, you know, we gotta glue that up. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do right now. Get everything pre-cut, glued up, and then we'll assemble it later. pieces cut this is gonna be the the foot that slides under obviously everything is cut a little bit bigger than I need I cut everything down the last second and this will be the the top it'll extend over the the arm of the couch and then this is the uh, side piece or the leg and I'll probably have to put some sort of uh, bracket somewhere for strength, I got a couple extra pieces. Bye. 
So the bottom, the bottom I just used screws. Pre-drilled some holes, put some screws. That'll look great. Obviously I don't want any screws through the top, so I used pocket screws. I'm gonna throw, you know, I'm gonna glue and tack this in. Little extra piece. I'll do it at the bottom too, even though I don't need it. Just to make it look like I meant to do that. And then I was thinking if this is still too, there's too much give in the top, I might get some steel cables and run two steel cables up the back, small ones, nice and neat with a tensioner, just to give it that little extra pull, but we'll see. And then I have some uh, cutting board feet. I'm trying to just use everything that I got and not buy anything, but I don't know. I have to buy the steel cable and these look a little small, so yeah, we'll see. So we grabbed some galvanized uh, steel cable, uh, 1 16th inch, and some eye hooks. And these are the little uh, crimp guys for the cable. Oh, there it goes under the table. So I'm thinking, you know, thread these into the, the bottom and maybe kind of run them down on an, maybe on an angle, down to a point and then just uh, give it some looks and maybe take some of that spring out. We'll see, maybe it'll do nothing. added a few last minute little touches that I wanted kind of figured after the fact I would want something to keep my glass or whatever from sliding off the edge of the table because this is where more than likely my elbow is gonna be and I, I needed to get these uh, cables a bit tighter so I jammed in this little block and actually now it gives you a nice little spot to stick a book. If you're reading, you can keep it by the uh, by the couch. And if you don't read, then it's just for uh, tensioning purposes. So this is the first time that I've worked with cherry, uh, but I'm starting to, you know, as you start working with these woods, you see how they how they are, how they act, and uh, you know, like red oak, cherry, walnut. They all plane very nicely. Like they're not hard woods to work with. Hard maple is a nightmare to work with, but if you're looking for that like really stark contrast, like nothing beats that walnut and hard maple. It just looks really nice. But cherry, 
cherry is beautiful. Like it has these little bird's eye little circles. It's got some little like black marks in it and it's got that red tint to it after you put some poly on it. Really, really nice wood. So let's, uh, let's go check out the table. It's ready. So surprisingly, these uh, tension cables actually really took a lot of give out of the uh, table. And these things are really, really tight. Gives you a nice spot for a book and you know, it looks different. And look at this cherry. Look at all the little bird's eyes. And these little marks. Really, really nice wood. Tell you what, this was uh, this was much needed. This is uh, quite nice. But anyways, make sure you uh, thumbs it up, subscribe. See you later.